back from work just like a couple minutes ago and it wasn't too bad, it was like 4 till 9, no, 4 till 8.30 so it was okay. It's a busy day, I've got um, a doctor's appointment at 11 and then I'm like sorting my room out because we're moving tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I actually got back from Edinburgh last night. So I feel like I've not had a chance to like sit and breathe, but it's gonna be okay. This is my room right now. It's quite sad. <laughs> My voice is really gone because I've caught a cold or someone but I I'm moving a house. I'm living at home with my mum but my mum is moving house and it's like my childhood home that I've lived in for like what year is it? Twenty twenty four. Fifteen years. And I'm twenty so a long 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 time which you developed here and it's just really weird it's super weird and I don't like it and I don't um, I haven't like processed it obviously like I don't know like I've not even been thinking about it I've just been like yeah okay we've got a pack we've got to do this we've got to do this but like my brain just won't get to the point of like we are not going to live here I just physically have not been like I'm just, I'm just like detached from it but yeah, the moving vans are coming tomorrow morning. Oh, it's really sad. My room's just all packed up and I don't know, like, I'm not a very spiritual person, but it just feels like there's so much energy like, here. I spent most of my childhood. It's hard. Um, it's definitely more like <clears throat> more of a significant event because I am home. Like ordinarily I'd be at uni but I'm not this year. I'm just home right now for a while. So like <sighs> there's nothing to distract me, it's just like confrontation that I'm gonna have to face. <laughs> it's so hard. I don't like I feel weird, it's like I don't really feel sad. I just f don't feel anything about it, like I don't know why. Like I thought I'd get to like this day and like tomorrow because we're moving, actually moving out tomorrow and feel like 
I want to cry, like I won't be able to stop crying, I'm so upset. But I don't really feel like that, I just don't really feel anything. It's weird, it's, I don't know. Um, it's just, I wish we were moving like a million miles away, but we're literally moving like close by. So we're going to be like passing the house constantly, which is just horrendous. <laughs> I don't know, I just, <clears throat> not in a completely negative way, but it just feels like this house is going to be like so haunted with life and memories and people and happiness and sadness and anger and desperation and just everything. It's just, it feels like it's just like vibrating with experience. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. It's just like, I can't, I don't feel emotional. I just feel like I can only look at it objectively right now, but I'm sure tomorrow I will feel very bad. <laughs> it has been good in a way because my room just has so much stuff that I just haven't used or like touched in years. So it's been good to like get rid of a lot of things. But then also it is like I am a very sentimental person, which is like not a very nice character trait to have. It, it can be nice sometimes, but then it's also just like everything has to be such a big deal. So even trying to get rid of stuff I don't want or I don't need, it's like I want to keep this thing not because not because it's like important to me or I suppose it is important like it's made important through the fact that I have had it and I like had it at one point in my life which is like so it's like wanting to hold on to something for like the purpose of like it's a piece of time but then it's like just rubbish like at the end of the day it's so weird, it's so weird, it's so weird, it's so weird. And I was away at the weekend and um, I like packed up my room a little bit on Friday, but it still looked, it was, it was still my room. It still looked like my room. It was my room. <laughs> but then I came back on Monday because I went over, I went away at the weekend and I came back and like it wasn't my room anymore. Like my shelf was moved. Everything was off my shelf. The boxes were moved around. My drawers were moved away from where they've always been. My bed was away from the wall. Everything was different, it wasn't my room. Suddenly this empty space that just feels like, I don't know, weird and dust and hollowness. It's, I don't know. It's gonna be okay. It's just really hard, <laughs> it's really hard because it feels like I'm abandoning I don't even know. I did think I'd be more upset, which is a good thing. At the same time though, I do, I am annoyed at myself. I'm like, why am I not feeling this so much? Like, why do I not feel like I want to scream and cry? Why am I not screaming and crying? I just wish I felt more right now. Like, I just can't, I don't know. I'm not very connected to it. I think if this had happened like a year ago, I would have been in absolute state because I was away from home. I was at university. I was like trying to cling on to my roots and like sense of self. And like if I'd had to like clear my room out, leave my childhood home when I was in this such like transitionary state, I don't think I could have coped with it. And and don't get me wrong, like, I have cried about it, like, when it was first, like, oh, we're moving house, we have to move house, like, this is what is happening. I was, I was just like, no, like, I was so upset. But now I've accepted that we are, but it doesn't feel like we are, like, it doesn't feel like a real thing that is happening. I just don't feel present and, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> if you think it's not a big deal, you've never had to move out of your childhood home, so. Anyways. But a lot of things in my life are very up in the air. Moving house is definitely one of those up in the air situations because it just takes so long and so much uncertainty. But it is kind of grounding 
in that like this is what's happening the, these are the steps we're going to take and this is where we're going and it's going to be okay <laughs> yeah I don't know I'm just literally waffling right now waffling 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 but yeah we're gonna make sure everything is in boxes that needs to be so we're ready for the movers in the morning and we're gonna get a takeaway and watch a film and that's gonna be it uh, I could put my headphones on, lie down on my bed and listen to sad music and cry for like hours but I'm not going to do that because actually my frontal, what is it called, frontal lobe is developing and I think that that would just be stupid and pointless and I think I deserve better than it. Um, okay, I'll talk to you later. my day list on but it's playing fucking 40s ballads <laughs> I've been in a bit hang on I'll put you somewhere better um, I've been listening to a lot of Radiohead like the past week but it's just not like the vibe that I really need today because yeah it's probably not like the most safe music that I can put on for myself um, Quiet Mix, Adrian Lenka, um, Adrian Lenka, Cocteau Twins, film soundtrack is like, I think good. I look like a rat, but today's the day and the moving van's coming in two hours. God, I feel terrible. Okay, it's fine. I have to get ready for the day. Um, yeah. My mum's just got their heads up that we can get the key. The um, movers have gone to have lunch, so we're going to tell them that we're like good to go, basically. So I'm just like walking around the house right now. It's like, sad. <laughs> just like, this is the last time I'm ever going to cough in this room. <laughs> but, um, it's just like, Really, really sad. Anyways, oh, help me, help me. <laughs> 